Aishwarya, I don't know if you remember, but last year when we met here, um, you gave me this amazing mantra for what you do at Cannes. You said, um, I go with the flow, enjoy the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And I then, don't know exact words, but yeah, for then sure. Then that same evening, your lilac lipstick <gasps> sent the internet into a meltdown. Okay, it was it was just perfect timing. So, I was wondering, did it was not premeditated. <laughs> I crossed my heart. I promise you, it was not premeditated. And Talk about it, going with the flow. Yeah, it, but tell <laughs> me, did did the sort of you know frenzy around that shade of lipstick sort of. Has it changed anything for you or no. is it still go with the flow and enjoy Absolutely the show? Absolutely go with the flow and enjoy the show and really I mean on the day there was so much I had packed in even on that day because that was day three and I had to take Aradhya to the carousel, I had to, we had to do the ice cream, we had to do the beach, the walk on the croissette. I did all of that amidst all the professional uh, uh, you know commitments. I had the Sarabji conference in the morning, the press call then all the personal stuff, then literally just made it in the nick of time back to the Martinez and we got ready and we had to run. And then I had to bring our team on the red carpet who had never done it before. So that was kind of me trying to kind of obviously fulfill my commitment to my brand L'Oreal and to ease the team into what the red carpet experience could possibly be like. None of us knew how it would unfold. I just think the festival was so generous to give that kind of platform to the entire team of the film. But with all that friends, it was literally my brilliant, brilliant Charlotte, who I work year after year with here on makeup, and a great team, Stefan and his team for hair. And they were just like, all right, that's the time we have, let's just do this. They saw the dress full of beading, and she said, what do you think? She just whips it out, the purple. And I said, you're the expert, go with it. I mean, like I said, this is the palette do your artwork, have fun, and let's just go the flow. There's so much else that I'm focusing on as in the reality on the ground and what's really happening at the time. And I trust the team I work with because they're obviously looking after the interest of the overall impact and it has only been positive year after year. And if not, you know, it's art. I've always said this time, time and again, Picasso, like it or don't, Mona Lisa, appreciate it or don't. That's the artwork, not me. I'm not calling myself any of these names. Reiterate, don't, don't attribute these quotes to me personally. What I'm trying to say is, is that's creativity, that's art, that's passion. And never anything to outrageous. It's just a shade. And um, it was great that, you know, it kind of evoked that kind of a reaction because it had a lot of both going on, but I think that's so interesting because that's what's happening in the present time. You get to experience and realize what this entire world become a smaller place on social uh, media has uh, reflects. And that's everyone has an opinion. So yeah. go out there, communicate, and we'll smile along as we always have. And like I said, we go with the flow and you all enjoy the show. <laughs> Ashwa, this is your 20th year of making movies. Well, yeah, yeah. What are you looking wow. for now as an actor? What I did the first time. Nothing changes, Anu. I think we're just... Uh, that's what I have always firmly believed. I mean, I genuinely still feel like the student. I genuinely still feel like, oh my God, there's so much to do that has not been done. And it's not just a feeling that I have. I truly believe it because Time flies you by here and there's a lot of um, time that gets uh, committed to making every piece of cinema. And those are the kind of filmmakers I have worked with largely. So I have never been in a rush to kind of pack in more numbers in terms of the kind, the number of films I'm putting out year after year and you've seen that. Which at the time that I started was so different for a leading lady because there was just people were belting out you know, releases and mine would come at precisely the same interval it is 20 years hence. Really? Which, is, which is two or a third if at the most, right? At, in a year uh, when I'm working and making movies. So that's been the pace because that's the kind, that's the way I like to work. I like to be involved with my filmmaker. And initially, of course, you're learning. There's a learning curve of, of recognizing the kind of work you want to do. And there are times when, you know, you've been able to commit time to the filmmakers or the kind of cinema you really want to do. And sometimes you've already committed. So I've never been the kind to back back away. And 
or withdraw or drop a film. So then you complete it and you learn from that experience whether that was really what you wanted to put out or that was just one more under the wing in terms of an experience but not enriching or may not have been as fulfilling. And so you continue searching. But that's what this place and creative energy is all about, right? Because you don't always know. So yeah, in all these years... And is years, the fire in the still, belly still there? I'm not defining it. You recognize it. You tell me. But uh, the excitement, the, the anticipation, the curiosity and the willingness to learn is very much still there because there is so much to do. And at the pace at which everything is, is also changing in our world, um, and I say our world because that is at a slightly different pace from different areas because of the kind of cinema that we make, which is what I love. I love our cinema, I enjoy it, and you recognize the integration now of technology, of newer writing, of newer ideas, and um, I'm seeing our um, established filmmakers also embracing that change, and I love the juxtaposition of that experience with the change. So that's the kind of energy I'm looking forward to also work with. It's not just, okay, let's work with the newer talent out there. I love the newer talent. I'm in awe of what uh, their vision can possibly bring to the table. But I'm a huge uh, bhakt of experience. I've always respected that. So any new films that you can tell us about? You know, the last um, six months post um, November was a very strong experience personally that I went through so I had kind of shut down to uh, my professional world and uh, very very glad on it but I've just started as of literally last week uh, meeting on uh, a couple of narrations again and I'm not just being cryptic but uh, there are two that I've already that's pretty quick right to say I've already liked <laughs> and kind of uh, open myself up to because it's the filmmakers that when when we do talk about you'll know that uh, why it was easy to already kind of uh, nod in agreement because it's the filmmakers who um, I have known I have worked with and I have known over a very very long period so um, two ideas already kind of given a nod to now we have to see that it all works out schedule wise very soon I guess when I'm back we'll, we'll talk about it to you so you'll be back on screen next year uh, yeah, I guess when they finish making their product, they'll be out next year. Yeah, super. We Unless they try and psh, one of them might try earlier, but the other one for sure next year. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Look forward to it Thank and have you, a great festival. Thank you so much. Thank you. Always a pleasure talking Thank to you. Thank you, absolutely. If you like this video, subscribe to Film Companion. We will bring you all that's new and exciting in the movies.